Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nikki and I am back again with another video for you today. So about, I want to say like two years ago, I did a review on Jergens Natural Glow um, lotion. And this is the bottle. Um, this was a product I bought myself and have been buying since. Um, it retails for I think $10.49 at Target and I bought it and I loved it so I did a review for it and it did fairly well. I think it has like 40,000 views right now. But I still get comments like to this day, like I literally responded to like five comments this morning on the video. People love my advice on this topic I guess. So that's doing well and in case you're wondering, still love it. But um, I got really lucky and Jergens has sent me another product of theirs and this is their Sunless Tanning Mousse. Um, I got this about a week or two ago and I'm obviously going to review this one as well because they knew and I knew that I loved the other one. The other one was something I bought all on my own. Um, I was happy enough, or lucky enough I guess, to be sent this product, but I will tell you right now that I am 100% buying this again. Um, a disclaimer that every single opinion in this video is going to be truthful. I know that when people hear that things were sent to them, they're like, oh, they're lying. I got no money. They sent me a bottle that is worth $12.99, so I guess that's the profit I made out of this video, $12.99. But um, that's how much this retails for at Walmart or Walgreens or whatever. But um, so enough with all of that. Trust me, don't trust me, whatever. I'm telling the truth. Let's get on to the review of this awesome new tanning solution. I also just realized it got really dark and I don't know why, so hopefully the sun comes back out. It's disappeared for a moment. And if not, we can deal with my shadow apparently. Awesome. Okay, so the product that we're talking about today is their new, or newer at least, um, it's called their Instant Flawless Color Jergens Natural Glow Sunless Tan and it's supposed to create a flawless natural looking color instantly. This is the shade Deep Bronze for the um, Natural Glow Lotion. I use medium to tan, and I know they sell this in fair to medium as well. Um, and then they have a lighter version of this one. If you're using medium to tan, I would say go with the Deep Bronze. And the difference is that this is a mousse and this is a lotion. Um, I would say that this guy here is like this guy's big brother or sister. <laughs> um, when you put this on after the shower or whatever, it's just a lotion that goes on your skin and then later on you're kind of feeling like bronzer or like a little more glowy. Um, this is literally a fake tan and it's awesome. Um, I had it on now for four days so it's a little faded but for someone in the middle of summer who has olive toned skin, I am not very tan which is a big disappointment, I don't even want to go there. But I put this on and I've gotten a few compliments past days, people are like, oh you look really good, I like your color and I'm like, hey thanks, don't worry about it. Um, I have gone to uh, like spray tanning salons. I've never laid in a bed and I don't plan to. Um, I think it's dangerous, but to each their own. I have spray tanned twice um, for special events and I loved it. Um, it looked really good. I went to a good place, but it cost me $30 and I know that it can get way up there. I mean, like that's probably as cheap as it gets. It can be $40, $60, $80 to get a spray tan. And this is $12.99 and I literally didn't even put a dent in the bottle. Like, it's full and I've already used it. Um, so that's awesome and it looks really good. I didn't streak anywhere but I was very careful when I put it on. Uh, I recommend a glove to put it on with because it's a mousse so like you pump it out and it's like foamy in your hand and then you rub it on your body. Um, I recommend a mitt. I didn't have one so what I did and I recommend this if you don't have a mitt otherwise you can go to like Sally's Beauty or whatever and buy one. They're probably really cheap. But I did my legs, so I pumped it in my hands and covered my legs and then really gently over my ankles and my knees because those are like like trouble spots that can sometimes streak. Um, after I was done with that, I washed my hands. And then I did my arms and I was careful around my wrists, my elbows, my hands. Um, and then I washed my hands again and then I did my stomach and chest and back. So you don't have to wash your hands multiple times. Oh, and then I washed my hands at the end. Um, but I would because it'll just like ensure that your hands aren't going to be like wicked dark brown the next day and like scary and everyone's like, you have fake tan on? Not cool. But so like I said, um, it's been four days and it's definitely faded a little bit. Uh, it's not as dark as it was right after I got it. But I have had no streaking anywhere that I can tell and yes I was careful. But I mean my ankles, everything, I'm looking around right now on my body. My wrists, my hands, there is no sign of fake tan anywhere. Um, the other thing is that this has, to me at least, literally like no odor. Like I just don't, I don't know if I missed it, but I really don't smell anything. And in Jergens, um, in the lotion, it smells a little bit. The smell never bothered me. It didn't like reek of fake tan or anything. It just had a fragrance. 
Yeah, like to me, I kind of like the smell actually. It's kind of like vanilla-y, but there is a fragrance. And on this stuff, no smell. Like you could take a shower in the morning, put it on, and then go out and you would be tanner. I put it on at night and then I slept with it on after it dried, but um, like you just, you put it on and then you're darker. That's the only difference. There's no smell, there's no nothing. So that's also really awesome. awesome. And so for a comparison of the two, like I said before, this is definitely stronger if you just want a tiny bit of glow, like don't really want to be a different shade. I would go with the lotion, it's also moisturizing, so that's nice. Um, this bottle is 7.5 fluid ounces while this is only 6, but this is a lotion and this was a liquid, so they're different consistencies, don't know if that's going to matter. Either way, this has lasted me a long time. I've bought this bottle I think now 3 or 4 times, and I obviously just got this, so I don't know how long this will last. But I think either one is going to last a long time because it's not like it's something you put on every day. This could be something you put on every day, but in my review I talked about how after about like three or four days consistently I stop because if you continue to put it on every day for like a week you tend to look orange in the end. So I would do this for like three days, skip a couple days and start using it again. I haven't put this on since Sunday and it is now Wednesday and I will probably put it on again tomorrow or Saturday. No, what's today? Oh sorry, it's Thursday. Okay, so I'll probably put this on Friday or Saturday, which would make five or six days later. So that's another thing to, um, to compare. This is about $2 more expensive, but even then, if you're comparing it to buying uh, like a package at a um, tanning salon, either a booth or a spray tan, either of these are, I mean, insanely like cheaper. They uh, don't even compare. So that's awesome. All in all, I think that I've covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, I 100% recommend both products depending on what you want or if you're looking for a little bit of both you can buy both and use them at different times I think it's um, they're both appropriate for different situations and they're both completely affordable and they work and that's what really matters is that they do what they are supposed to do so if you have any questions like on my other one you guys have no problem leaving me questions on my first review for Jergens Glow um, lotion so please feel free to leave questions or comments below um, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video and hopefully this was helpful because I that's you know all I really want. So yeah. Let me know if you have anything to say. <laughs> okay? Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!